Hey guys, Bob here. Uh, we're going to do another recipe together. Um, as you know, we just passed Easter, and I'm sure all of you still have leftover ham and scratching your head going, what am I going to do with all this leftover ham like we do? Well, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a ham and cheese and broccoli casserole. Real simple, real easy, using the ingredients you probably still have from Easter. So come on, let's get started. So again, this is pretty standard fare. I had a couple blocks left over of cheese from Easter. Um, I used the big thing of cheesy melt. Um, people probably would know better as Velveeta. Uh, frozen broccoli, tricolor rotini, and my French fried onions. And again, just chopped up ham. So what we're going to do is first and foremost is cook our tricolor rotini and our broccoli florets. But the broccoli florets I'm not putting in water. I'm actually going to steam them so they have a little bit of a crunch still left to them and mix them in with our ham and cheese. Alright, so what we're going to do now, the first thing is cook our tri-colored rotini. Alright, as you can see our uh, water is boiling. These are 12 ounce boxes of the pasta pies. Just anybody keeping track. So what we're gonna do is just stir this and let it boil till it's done. There we go. Broccoli florets. We put water in the pan to steam it and put the top on, let it steam it. Then these are done. And then after this, we will go and shred our two blocks of cheese. All right. There is your cheese. That is a half a block of cheddar, half a block of the other one. So now we're going to do is just cut up the cheesy melt into small pieces, and then I'll show you how to put all of this together. Now I'm sure. Now I'm sure some of you asked me, Bob, you didn't put salt in with your pasta, right? I didn't. There's a reason. Here's the trick. All that ham. We want to get it hot. Ham has all the salt in it that you're ever going to need for that pasta. So we turn the water off, throw the ham in, we'll stir it, we'll let it sit for a couple minutes, and then we'll drain it, and then we'll start putting this casserole together. Decided to kick this up just a little bit. Everybody knows what Rotel is. This is the mild, which is the diced tomatoes with the chilies. So we're going to add this to it too. All right, here we go. Take our pasta and our ham that is thoroughly drained. Put it into our bowl. You should get all of it. And we're gonna start adding some of our cheese. guys it's gonna take a while for the cheese to melt but there is a trick we're gonna add some scalded milk whole milk I don't use 2% or any of that other good kind of milk that I should be drinking So anyway, let me uh, finish this up here and I'll show you what it looks like after it's all melted and put together and I'll show you how to put it in a baking dish. All 
Alright, as you can see most of our cheese has melted. We are now going to put in our rotel. With minus the lid. And what we're going to do is just fold this in. And now we're going to transfer this to an oven proof container. And then we will put the french fried onions on top and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. What we're going to do now is put this in our casserole dish. Guys, don't worry if there's too much that's in here. Because, I mean, I overcooked. It's just me because it's only my wife and I. But I have grandkids that will be here this weekend. Well, actually, today is Wednesday. They'll be here tomorrow. Thursday. So, this will go quick. Anyway, now... This the raisin salt. We take our French fried onions over the top and there is a trick. Yes, you can use saran wrap in the oven and I know that sounds insane but please bear with me. Put saran wrap over top of it. Put uh, aluminum foil over the top of that. Most ceram wrap and whatnot, as long as it's above below 400 degrees, will not melt into your product. But what the ceram wrap does is keeps the moisture in here, so this doesn't dry out on you. So again, we're going to put this in the oven for about 25 minutes to a half hour, and we'll bake it. We will take the top off. We will let the French fried onions brown up, and I'll show you how we serve it and what we serve it with. So I'll see you in a while. All right, guys, there's your ham and cheese and broccoli casserole with your onions on top. All right, there you go. There is your broccoli and cheese and ham with three different kinds of cheeses. Casserole, we serve it here with breadsticks. If you like this, please subscribe. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Share it out, tell a friend, and we will see you in the next cooking vlog. Have a great day, guys.